Hey everybody, Nick from 420expertguide.com here. And today I want to talk about a really simple method to calculate what height you need to hang your grow light. And I've done one video previously about grow light hang height and it was, in my opinion, maybe a little bit too complicated or maybe a little bit too um, not straightforward. But there is one really straightforward method that I learned about um, recently that makes things pretty simple if you just follow a couple steps. So um, the first step is you want to know how intense your grow light is from uh, a certain hang height. So you need a starting reference point. And the good thing about that is that it's easy to figure out for most grow lights because most manufacturers provide a, um, a intensity for their grow lights at a certain height. So the first step you're gonna do is figure out what type of grow light you have. Um, then you're gonna either go to the manufacturer's website or to the Amazon product page and you're gonna go through the pictures for the light and you're gonna find that there's a chart with a bunch of numbers on it and a bunch of different heights. That's what you want to find. So once you find that, I'm actually gonna throw up a sample picture on the screen right now. But once you find that, um, we can move on to the next step which makes things really easy. Okay, so this is a sample light intensity chart right here from a popular LED grow light, the Spider Farmer SF4000 for a 4x4 grow tent. And you can see all the numbers, all the micro moles there laid out. So you want to find a map like this or a chart like this for the grow light that you have. Okay, so now that you've seen that chart, of light intensity and you know what it looks like and you know what to look for for your grow light um, listen to what I'm going to describe right now this is really simple and while it may not be perfect for fine-tuning if you want to get an exact percentage um, of adjustment in light intensity um, it's good for quick adjustments if you need to make them so what you, this is based on a law of physics called the law of inverse squares. And what it says is if your grow light or if a light at any distance from uh, the ground or your plants, call it, is emitting a thousand micromoles of light. So just to simplify that, let's just say hanging at 18 inches above your plants the light is emitting a thousand micromoles. So for every 12 inches that you raise the height of your light, that original number is going to be cut down to 25% of what it was. So for example, if my light here is doing a thousand micromoles on the floor, then if I raise this 12 inches, then it's now going to be doing 250 micromoles on the floor. That's a law of physics. There's no debating that. Okay? And you can also take that law and uh, extrapolate a little bit. For example, if you don't want to uh, cut down your intensity by 75%, then you can only raise it 6 inches, and now you take the 75% decrease and cut it in two, which is 30, I think it's 37 and a half percent. So if you only raised it six inches and you were getting 11, uh, sorry, 1000 micromoles of light on the floor, and now you raise it six inches, then you're going to be getting around 630 micromoles. So just keeping that in mind, the rule is Every 12 inches you raise the light, you are decreasing the intensity by 75% of what the original intensity was. 
All right, that's it guys, it's that simple. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out my website 420expertguide.com for a bunch of other tips and resources.